Hey guys, in this video, we're going to talk about linear probing. Now, linear probing is a strategy used for resolving collisions. And collisions are just keys that map to the same index in a hash table. So here's the strategy here below. Um, it says use a hash function to find the index for a key. And then if that spot contains a value, we use the next available spot. And if you reach the end of the array, we go back to the front of the array. So here we have the problem or the question, and it says to insert the following numbers into a hash table of size five using the hash function that we call H that takes in a value called key where it returns a hash value equal to key mod five. And then we want to show the results when the collisions are resolved. And so here are our numbers or our values or keys, and they are 10, 11, 12, and 15. So let's go ahead and get started. First we're going to do is we're going to create our hash table. And our hash table is going to be of size 5. So we start with index 0, index 1, index 2, index 3, and index 4. And this gives us a hash table of size 5. Now what we do is we take these keys and we plug them into our hash function. So h of 10 is equal to 10 mod 5 and this is going to give us our hash value which is 0 so we go to index 0 and we place the value 10 all right so that's good next we insert into our hash function the key 11 and we get 11 mod 5 that equals 1 and so in index 1 we place the value 11. Next up we input our key which is 12. This gives us 12 mod 5 which equals 2 and so in index 2 we put the value 12 and next up we input our key value 15. This gives us 15 mod 5 which is zero. Now we have a collision. We see that we have two keys, 10 and 15, that match to the same index, which is zero. So we have to follow this linear probing strategy. So it already says use a hash function to find the index for a key, which we have done already. So we go to step two. It says if that spot contains a value, we want to use the next available spot. So uh, we have the value 0 here for the index. We want to use the next available spot. That will be index 1. And we can see that it already contains the value 11. So we go to the next index, which will be index 2. And we see that it already contains the value 12. And now we go to index 3. We see that it doesn't contain a value. So we can put our key in that new spot there. And so we put our key, which is 15 into index 3 and that solves this collision problem so thank you guys i hope you enjoyed this video um please leave likes subscribe and become a supporter on patreon thank you guys and i'll see you on the next video